Hey everyone, so today I thought I would do a full face first impression but trying to use a full face of just drugstore makeup as much as I can anyway. Yesterday I filmed a huge, by the way I sound croaky because I literally just woke up and showered and here I am. <laughs> I do have coffee, I'm like waking up slowly. Yesterday I was filming my declutter, putting away makeup um, kind of video and I saw I had heaps of new drugstore makeup so I thought I would use it today. We're going to start with this Wet n Wild base primer, cover all base primer. Helps to refine pores, fill fine lines, brighten your complexion and even your skin tone. It's brand new. You get 25ml of product. Ooh, it's like this really thick, almost like a moisturizer consistency. It feels like a moisturizer when I go like this too, except even thicker than a moisturizer. This is giving me the creeps a little bit. It really does kind of blur. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but in real life, my skin looks really, really smooth. Like it looks like I have no pores. That feels so good. Filled in all of my pores and it looks so smooth and it kind of gave me a nice glow as well and it doesn't feel real heavy like professional or anything like that either pleasantly surprised that kind of scared me at first <laughs> i thought it would be real slippery but it's not real slippery it's definitely smooth but it's not like zhoom, you know like some silicone primers like make your skin feel so just too over the top slippery. So I'm just putting that away in my drawer, that um, primer, because I like it. By the way, I'm not a drugstore snob. I think there are definitely some amazing drugstore products. Um, I just feel like it's more hit and miss than high-end brands. I feel like high-end brands are more hits. You know, like they get it right more often, whereas sometimes drugstore stuff is so, so wrong. That's not to say, like I said, I think there are so many amazing drugstore products. So I hope I find some new amazing favorites today. Okay, so I have a couple of different designer brands foundations. And I thought I would do this foundation in this video because if I did a whole video all about it, I think designer brands is mostly just like a New Zealand and perhaps Australian brand. So it's not like a worldwide accessible kind of product. So I've got a couple of different shades here. One of them is called the 24 hour foundation for coverage and then the other one is a glowing coverage so I'm just gonna use whichever one matches and both of these are vegan so I really hope it's good so this one here is in the shade light sand which looks like a pretty good undertone it might be a tad pale that's the 24 hour long wear foundation and then the luminous one is in the shade of classic ivory which to me sounds like it would be paler but I don't know if it is paler because the bottle looks darker and it's more orangey slightly like it looks like it would match me but I can tell by the undertone by the time I put it all over my face I definitely think it's too orange the other one's got more of a like yellow kind of undertone so I'm going to use that one today so yeah using the 24 hour long wear foundation let's do this and I'm going to use a flawless finished sponge bake so beauty to apply it today because it's just my favorite lately I haven't even been using makeup brushes oh the primer let me show you this close flaking a little can you see that like I scratched my skin Ooh, I got foundation on my nail, but I like scratched my skin and like these little flakes of primer came off We'll see how it looks once the foundation's on top. Hopefully it kind of settles it down a little Um, yeah, sorry for the lighting. It's super shadowy. It's like real sunny outside It's quite early in the morning, but hopefully you can still see what I'm doing But if you're wondering why like the side of my face looks darker or more in the shadow Obviously it's because the side has more sun people sometimes like to say that I could never fill in my eyebrows properly because one eyebrow is darker than the other but it's because the side of my um, window is brighter than this side because I kind of sit to one side of the window almost so there you go That's why sometimes it looks you know a little off. So this foundation is really easy to blend um, The coverage is really good as you can see it's like completely covering up the redness of my veins It's a little bit sticky when I'm using my sponge. My sponge is kind of sticking to my face So I don't know if that's the primer or the foundation Okay, I'm gonna put a little more foundation just up on my forehead I have to say it's kind of drying more to a pinky finish so I'm glad I did not use the other color. Like it starts off quite yellow, but then I don't know if it's oxidizing a little bit or just drying down a little bit. Not like pink or orange, but just a little bit less yellow. <laughs> this foundation's not blowing me away, but it's also not bad. Like for a really affordable foundation, this is much better than the affordable foundations I had, you know, easy access to when I was a teenager. Okay, on my nose and on my cheek, the more I blend this in, it's like peeling off my face. I don't know what's going on. Look at this. I don't know if it's the primer or the foundation, but like, see here, like, it's just peeling off as I'm blending it. Okay. This is weird. I wonder if that's the primer or the foundation. That's really strange. Oh gosh, I've got like none down on my cheek. I completely missed this entire area. It's got a really beautiful finish. It looks really smooth. My pores look so nicely blurred. It's just that it's kind of peeled up in a couple spaces, like where I've 
like blended on top of like when I've tried to layer it it's just like peeled off it's really hard to see on camera and it's kind of settling down a little bit so it's not too bad but it's definitely a bit weird um, and worth mentioning like it looks a bit dodgy just here okay there's definitely a couple products that I may not have um, drugstore products for. I don't think I have a new concealer either so I'm just going to use my trusty Light 20 No Filter Concealer by Colourpop. Just a little bit under my eyes. So yeah anything I come across that I don't have which I think I've got most things here. Anything I don't have I'll just use a different drugstore product. Okay so for powder I don't think I've tried this before. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong but I don't remember trying it. So this here is the Maybelline Master Fix Setting Powder and it's just like a loose powder. It gives me like makeup forever vibes. I may have tried this. I don't remember. This is open so maybe I did try it but I like honestly cannot remember. I'll have to look through my videos to see if I used it but anyway. We're just gonna use this today because it's kind of like a first impression because I can't remember anything. I've got such a bad memory. <laughs> I'm not usually a huge fan of loose powders but I've been using my Too Faced one a lot. I don't know if I'm crazy but I feel like that's just removed heaps of coverage under my eyes. Like my under eye area looks really dark after that but on my face it looks fine and it feels so soft and it looks really matte. It hasn't emphasized any lines or anything. I'm gonna use these Extend Brow Silky Fibers by Designer Brands. This is not sponsored by Designer Brands, by the way. I just got seen heaps of stuff from them. Like literally, they're like proper like fibers. It's scary. <laughs> and I don't have any instructions. <laughs> and then to fill in my brows firsthand, I'm just gonna use this. I've never tried it. It's the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit. This is in the shade Ash Brown. It says mirror enclosed. I'm trying to figure out if this pops out. Oh my god, wait. I think it's in the side. That's so cool. Look at that. Before I start my brows, I'm just going to set down the powder and everything. I don't think I've used this before. So, well, this one's a brand new one. But I remember buying it, but I don't remember trying it. And I don't know where it is, so. This is the problem when I try, like, hundreds of new products every year. I can't remember what I freaking tried. Well, I usually can, but I can't remember this. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. So, we're going to try this. This is cruelty free too. It smells like nail polish remover or something. Feels really refreshing, but it smells terrible. So I'm just brushing it through my brows and mix it with a little bit of that. So I think that dark brown will be too dark for my hair color. Okay, so far so good. It doesn't look patchy. Yeah, I don't mind it. It looks really nice and natural. So it definitely isn't like a holy grail. Um, but I think for a drugstore option, if you're looking for a drugstore option, it's not bad at all. Once again, this eyebrow looks darker because of the lighting. It's not actually darker, trust me. Okay, now for the terrifying bit, the extender brow with silky fibers. I'm not sure how you're supposed to use this because I feel like it's just going to go on dusty. I don't know if it's doing anything. I feel like it's making my eyebrows darker, like filling in the gaps. Do you reckon? These are literally flying everywhere. <laughs> to set that down, I'm just using a brow gel. This one is by Milani. It's the tinted fiber gel. I want to use a drugstore one, but I just feel like those fibers are going to fall everywhere because they're like not sticking down with anything. I definitely think they work. Like they made my eyebrows thicker, but I don't know. I just don't know how they stay put, so I don't trust it. So I'm using this. I don't think it looks bad at all. And you know how the primer looked a bit weird when I was about to put on my foundation? Like it was kind of flaking, like you can't tell now. I'm not quite sure what the deal with that is, but it's obviously like still working fine. Before I do my eye makeup, I want to use this to contour, blush, and highlight. So this is the Rimmel London Kate Coral Glow Trio. I did swatch it yesterday when I was doing my little declutter video. So I'm going to take a bronzer brush with the contour shade. It's a very powdery powder, but that does not bother me because it's going on really nicely and blending really nicely. And it doesn't look patchy. Color is pretty good too. Like, it's not too orange. I do feel like it's got a little bit of a shimmer through it, which is obviously quite odd. That looks so bad on that side though. Why? That's really weird and I don't know what product is making this happen because this side looks fine. It looks okay. A little bit patchy on that side, but fine on that side. So moving along, I'm just gonna dip the same brush into the blush color, which is really pretty. These powders are very easy to blend. Quite like them. And then the highlight shade, which is really pretty also. This is like right up my alley. It's so not shimmery. It just glows. Oh my God, I love it. That's exactly the kind of highlighter I love. It's still quite intense, but it's just not shimmery. Okay, I'm a big 
big fan of that highlighter. Love the color too. It's just like a white gold kind of color. That's so pretty. Okay, so overall I think this is good. Not sure what happened here, but apart from that, like there was no other issue. Okay, so for my eye makeup, I'm gonna keep it really simple today. I'm going to use this eyeshadow, I mean not eyeshadow, eyeliner as an eyeshadow base. This is the LA Girl Intense Stay Auto Liner and this is very soft because I just took off the lid, kind of dropped it on my hand, the end snapped off um, and it stained my skin. I tried to wipe it off with water and it's not coming off. So obviously it is long wear. It's very soft, which is a good thing in my opinion, even though like it broke. I'm okay because that's saying to me that it's creamy and with eyeliner, I need it to be creamy. I don't like stiff eyeliner, so you can see that pigmentation. I've just got to pray that it's easy to blend so I don't screw up my makeup. <laughs> Once it's on, it's on. It's smudging out a little bit, but it definitely sets in place pretty quickly. Actually, you know what? I think that looks blooming good. I'm just using the edge of my sponge with whatever's left on it from earlier just to tidy up the edge. Love that color. Did I say what color it was? I'm not sure. It's in the shade Lasting Brown. So far, I'm digging this. Like, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh my gosh. The actual eyeliner, I quite like the packaging too. It's quite classy. It doesn't look cheap or anything, which is always nice. I just like something that feels like it's kind of good quality. I don't like something that feels like it's just gonna break any second. This actual packaging feels quite nice. It's even got like a little grip on it, like the Elizabeth Arden pencils, which is really cool. Okay, I'm kind of blending in a different shape on this eye, which is a fail, but hopefully we can pull it together. I love this color. It even looks pretty just like that for something that's quite like smoky, like if you did heaps of mascara and stuff, but I'm gonna do just some minimal eyeshadow. I'm definitely keeping this, there's like, heaps of colors too so I will definitely be using those in some tutorials in the future because I really like that formula hopefully it lasts really well in the waterline too because you know that's important as well okay for affordable drugstore like obviously this is not really a drugstore because it's Colourpop it's an online brand but it's very affordable so I'm just gonna use these eyeshadows today I don't have any drugstore eyeshadows I don't think. Anyways, I just really want to use this. This is the I Think I Love You pressed powder eyeshadow palette. So pretty. I'm going to take the matte brownish color here and just pop that into the crease. And this is blending like a dream. I love ColourPop eyeshadows, but I have been known to dislike a couple of the formulas. Um, it was it the Femme Rosa palette I did a first impression on and I was kind of like, eh, to some of the um, shimmery colors. Oh my god, that's so blendy. So smooth. Anyway, um, some of the shimmery colors, I was like, mm, no. That blends out like a dream. Going quite smoky on the lower lash line too. Wasn't meant to, but it's happened. <laughs> you know how it is. Like, oh yeah, I'm going to do natural makeup today. No. No. Your hands will not let you. This is a firm blender brush, by the way, which is perfect for blowing out colour into the crease and applying the colour. I love it just like this, but I feel like I need to experiment with one of the shimmery colours. I love this though, like just the matte look. Oh, love. I'm gonna try this colour here, just for something subtle. It's like a warmish brown shimmery shade. Just take it on a pencil brush. And that is really pigmented. I don't know why I'm using a pencil brush to apply this. <laughs> I just grabbed it. I was like, that'll do. I should really be using a pencil. I mean, a eyeshadow brush because this is going to take all year. Yeah, this is stunning. I like this shimmer better than the ones in the other palette I tried. And then just taking up my firm blender brush again to buff out any edges because I want this look to be super blendy. I think really blended smoky eyes like this are very sexy. Very sultry and just, I don't know, just all attention on the eyes. There goes the lighting. But... You can see those beautiful shades. So lovely. Okay. Using another pencil brush. I guess I'll just use this shade here. There's not really another highlighty shade. No, I'm not blue in real life, I promise. It's just this ugly lighting all of a sudden because a cloud came through. Oh, here we go. It's going back. It's going back. It's coming back. I'm just going to leave that like that. Wipe off my brush and then take this pale yellowish color for my brow bone. I like this palette so far from those like four colors I just tried. I'm definitely going to continue to try this. I just want to swatch one of the more like foiled looking eyeshadows because those were the ones I had trouble with in the last palette. So like this one swatches really nicely. Oh my god, that color's nice. That was the corner one. I love it. It's like, it's like molten, bronzy, rose goldy, just beautiful. I may have to do another tutorial using this at some stage because 
that's freaking beautiful. I'm gonna use another one of the eyeliners. This one here is in the shade Deepest Brown. Get it open. I hate these, like the little plastic sleeves. I can never do it right. They always snap. Come on. Ah. Oh. So yeah, deepest brown. Let's see how it goes on the waterline. I feel like at first it was a little bit hard to put on, but once I kind of like warmed it up a little bit, it was perfect. So even if you want to just like when it's brand new, just put a little bit on your hand. I think that last one went on so clean because I smashed it on my hand, like I said. I think it just needs a little bit of time and then it's so creamy and pigmented. I look like a baby bird on the single mook. I'm just putting a little on my actual lower lash line because I'm going to smudge that down with that pencil brush and that first brown shade. You definitely need to smudge them quick because otherwise they sit in place and don't move, which is good. Okay, let me fix this like color balance because it looks really hideous. Okay, this uh, color tone is a little bit more realistic now. So you can see the eye makeup. I'm going to do winged liner because I have a new eyeliner to try. Actually, first, I was meant to try this. Let's just put on, okay, peel here. How do I peel? Um, I need tweezers to open this. This is one thing I hate about drugstore makeup. I hate how there's like so many stickers all over the packaging. I know that sounds really petty, but it really annoys me. When they come off and then they're all sticky and ugly. Small thing though. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try using the little applicator it comes with. It's a little funny little plasticky thing. <laughs> I'm gonna use the brand. So this is the Milani Shade One Fierce Foil Eyeshine. Oh, that's pretty. The applicator works well. Super glimmery. It's like the Magnificent Metals by Stila. And then I'm gonna flip it over and use the pale, actually I'm gonna mix the two pale colors together, the pale pink and the pale yellow, and put a little bit on here. Ooh, that's bright. Okay, here comes the lighting again and now I look bright orange or yellow. Ooh, ooh, too much. Wow, that's pigmented, okay. Apparently I'm dragging along the lower lash line a little now. <laughs> Too pigmented should not be a concern, I mean a complaint, but I just need to be more careful next time obviously. I'm just gonna blend it with my brush a little bit to dull it down because I don't want it to be that bright. I want it to be like smoky. It still looks good. So I like this, for sure. I think that's good. I like it a lot. So like I was saying, I'm definitely doing winged liner. I have this one here, Not Tested on Animals Liquid Eyeliner by Wet n Wild, the Mega Liner. The applicator looks like my favorite type of applicator, but I have to say when I pulled out the product, I'm gonna see if you can see this. When I pull out the product, it looks like real sticky. Oh no, it's not doing it now. Before it was like all like stringy, which was really weird, like tar. So we'll see how this goes. I love the um, applicator though, the little foam tip type of applicator. These are my favorite for liquid eyeliner. I just think they're very easy to use. Oh, I've got fallout. I didn't even notice. It'll be from... Ooh, it's kind of bad. Look at this. It must be from the Colourpop because... Oh, it's everywhere. Either that or it's eyebrow fibers. Which, actually, it could be because they're kind of stringy looking. I'm just going to have to pat them into my skin because I can't get them off. Look, they're all over my nose. It looks like blackheads. And actually, up close, I just looked at my pores up close and actually it looks like <laughs> the foundation has sunk into my pores. Look at this. So at first it was going strong and now look, foundations never do this on me. I thought that was fallout on my nose. That's actually just foundation in my pores. Holy crap. My pores don't look that bad without makeup on whatsoever. So literally this foundation has just sunk into every single pore on my face and it looks really bad. Oh my god, I've never had this happen. I don't think I've ever had this happen with any foundation. Oh my god. Look at that. All around my nose, it's just like sunken right in. Could be a mixture of the primer and the foundation. I have to try the primer with a different foundation that I know I like because I really liked the feeling of that primer. Oh my god. Even like my mustache. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it looked so good at first and now look at it. And that's been all of like 30 minutes. <sighs> I am unimpressed. I'm never using this foundation ever again. Okay, moving along. We're gonna have to just put up with pores. I'm gonna wash this off later. I'm just not gonna wear makeup to my appointments because that's actually making me feel so self-conscious. It looks like I've got full on blackheads just sticking out of my face. Like seriously, okay, no, nah, I just have to show you one more time. Like, look at that one there. That looks like a full on blackhead. And I promise you, like I was just marveling myself at how nice and clear 
and smooth my nose was this morning like I had no blackheads or anything and I was like wow my skin looks so nice I used this really nice scrub and my pores were so clean and tight and I used like a exfoliated liquid on my face I was like wow my skin's looking so good this is like the perfect base for makeup what the heck my pores don't normally look like that sorry I'm being so dramatic listen to me oh look at that bleeding Does this dry matte? I hope so. Oh god, it's getting thicker and thicker. Ooh, ooh, even more thick. Okay, she thick. <laughs> ooh. Okay, there's like literally little fibers falling off of my eyebrows into my makeup. Okay, never using that again either. It definitely works, it's just messy AF. Now to try and match it. Okay, that one looks a little bit better than the other side. It doesn't seem to be bleeding anymore. I think the first time I went in, maybe there was too much product on the brush and that's why it bled a little bit. Because yeah, not having that problem now because I'm taking a little bit of the edge of, like I'm taking the edge of the tip of the brush, just wiping it off. It's really easy to use. The formula is uber uber super black i think the only thing i don't love about it is how it doesn't dry completely matte i think it's meant to be matte like it's definitely not like a shiny finish but it's got a little bit of a shine to it but it's not like for a drugstore one like it's still pretty matte a lot of drugstore ones i find are so shiny you know what i actually quite like this hopefully it lasts really well throughout the day it's a little dot up here a little dot here they can't get off. Okay, he's just gonna stay there. So I'm gonna keep this, definitely. Just don't put on too much at once, otherwise, yeah, it feathers out a little bit. But now that it's completely dried, like I said, it's got a tiny amount of shine. It's not like the most matte of matte liquid liners I've tried. I definitely think the next one might be a little bit more matte, but like, I still really like this. The pigmentation is so dark. Okay, mascara. Which one shall I try? I've got one by Wet n Wild. I feel like I've used heaps of Wet n Wild. Also got this Rimmel Lash Accelerator Endless Grow Complex and Fiber Mascara. This sounds creepy. Okay, it doesn't look like a fiber mascara, thank goodness. I love fiber products, like my Gimme Brow is like a kind of fibery product, I'm pretty sure. But I don't like just fibers, you know, like I don't like separate fibers. I don't mind it in products, so let's try this. I like the wand by the way, it's like a nice thin wand. Not much product comes out on the wand. Ow, I just stabbed myself. <laughs> it's definitely a little bit clumpy, I don't know if you're going to be able to see. But my eyelashes look super thick. Okay, yeah, it's definitely clumpy, you see. I don't know if you can see. Oh, the waterline um, eyeliner looks a little bit patchy. It's not too bad. Like, from far away, it doesn't look patchy. It's just really close. This um, Rimmel mascara, though, makes your lashes super thick and really long. I don't hate it. It's not my favorite, just because it's a little bit clumpy, like, too clumpy for my liking. But I know some people like that look. So, if you like rather clumpy mascaras, you might like this. Like, it's quite, not dry in formula, but just thick. Like, it's a thick formula. I think I like it on my lower lashes better than my top lashes. The brush is really good. It's like a hard out comb so you can really like separate your lashes with it. Like I can feel it working. My nose is looking worse and worse and worse and also really close up. The foundation's kind of settling it around my nose and like around my mouth like into fine lines like really small ones. You can't really see them from far away but I think if you had like more wrinkled skin or like any fine lines or anything it will like sink into those because I barely have like any fine lines around here but like I can see them with this foundation I don't normally see them so the mascara I'm on the fence about I don't hate it but I definitely like am not in love I feel like there's like a white patch of lashes just here I can't get the roots <laughs> blonde eyelashes are the worst leave a comment down below if you have blonde eyelashes as well they are like honestly a curse I'm so jealous of people that have like natural black eyelashes I'm not even like a natural blonde like I just have blonde eyelashes it sucks I might give it to mum to try like I don't hate it like I said I definitely would use it if it was the only mascara I had I use it quite happily I just think that in my personal collection I have ones that I prefer more so it's not much point me keeping it for myself I'm just gonna go over my waterline the eyeliner to try and make it a little bit more even actually I think I'm using the wrong color I think this is the one I used on my eyelid 
Oh well, it looks good. Here's pretty eye makeup. Let's try some lashes that I've never tried. Disclaimer, I don't think these are drugstore, but I just want to try some new lashes today. They're by Iconic London, and I don't know the styles, because they put the styles on the plastic on the outside, so um, I ripped it off without realizing. And now I don't know which each set are called, so I'm just going to have to show you, and then you're going to have to figure it out. So I think we'll use these ones today, which is semi-natural, semi-dramatic. Like, they're not very long, but they're very thick. These actually feel so similar to my party stack lashes, which I ran over on my chair earlier. <laughs> so. Okay, I'm just using some Ardell lash glue. Oh, Sometimes this glue stings my eyes and then sometimes it doesn't, it's so weird. I like them, they look very sexy. You can see the difference, I hope. <laughs> I take back what I said, they're definitely not natural. They actually look longer on your eye than I realized from looking at them in the box. Yeah, the mascara's not too bad, like you can definitely see it's a bit clumpy, but on the fence. I'm gonna do lip liner from the same LA, um, what is it? LA girl? Oh, I was gonna do red lips because I've got red on my top. Let's have a see and look at what, like, this shade is. This is a LA girl lipify style one swipe intense creamy color lipstick. And it's in the shade Brave. Oh my gosh, it's non-retractable. Weird. I swatched a couple of these yesterday when I did my declutter and I didn't realize that they are non-retractable. So they've got this little clicky, but once you pull it out, you can't take it back. So you need to be careful. Don't put out too much, otherwise you're screwed. Okay, so that's like a pinky red color. So I'm gonna take a bright red lip liner. Ooh. Um, This is the LA Girl Ultimate Lip Pencil and it's in the shade Relentless Red. Very close to the uh, MAC color. <laughs> and I hate this freaking plastic. But seriously, who wants to come over and get rid of all this plastic? I can't get it. So let's try this. I'm excited because the eyeliners are so creamy and I love creamy lip liners. All about that creamy life. I haven't done a red lip in a while. I'm excited. So yeah, this is a bright pinky red. Like it's definitely a red, but it's got pink undertones. Okay, so it's definitely very creamy. So it's not giving you a super sharp 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 defined line but you can only tell that really close up and i'm not too bothered on that if you do like a bit of a firmer lip liner to give you a sharp line that's not this product like if i want a sharper line i would just conceal afterwards i feel like i'm using a lot of product but it's cheap obviously it's not ideal but you know what i'm saying if this was like a mac one i'd be like <laughs> i like this i'm gonna keep these lip liners for sure you'll be seeing these are around again okay so this shade is brave I think I said that already. It looks like this. It's like a pinky color, but because I'm putting it on top of the red, it should look pretty rude. This is very creamy. Kind of smells bad. Like it smells a little bit like plastic cherry without being cherry. It's not like strong. I can only smell it when I apply it. So that's good. <laughs> what just happened here, Shannon? Wow. Honestly, I'm so tempted to get some lip fillers. Not a lot, not to make my lips much better, bigger I guess. I kind of just want them to even out. Like this lip is so like round and then this one's like pointy because it's not full on the outer corner whereas this one's really full on the outer corner and then this side is more full up the top and this one's flatter up the top so they're like opposites. Also I heard someone online getting it for dry lips which I have such dry lips but I don't know if that's true. Like is that just an excuse like her saying oh I got lip fillers because I have dry lips or does it actually help to moisturize your lips? That's what I want to know. Hamish is like very anti me getting lip fillers. But you know, it's my body. <laughs> so I think from a boyfriend point of view, he's worried that maybe they'll feel different or something. Like maybe my lips will feel hard or he's worried that I'll end up looking like one of those botched women on Bravo or something. I don't know. Probably won't end up doing it because I never do. It's like me wanting a nose job. I'm always like, oh yeah, I want a nose job. And then I'm like, oh, I actually quite like my nose. And then I have a day where I'm like, I freaking hate my nose so much. I want a nose job. And then the next day I love it again. Same with my lips really. Like today I'm having a day where I'm like, I hate my lips. But most days I'm like, oh, I like my lips, you know? Okay, anyway, I'm just gonna go blow dry my hair and come back. I feel like this lighting sucks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think my product of the day, probably the LA Girl liners, like the lip liners, the eyeliners. I also loved the Rimmel um, contour little thingy, even though for some reason on this side it was a bit dodgy. I'm thinking maybe I didn't set the foundation properly or something like that. Love that ColourPop palette too beautiful colors. Love, 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 love. Um, yeah, so that is the finished look. This lipstick's a little bit sticky. 
weird. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what video you want to see next. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and if I should do some more because I can totally do more. I'll just put aside my drugstore stuff. I'm like on the fence about this, like the lipstick. I like how pigmented and creamy it is, but I don't really like the smell and I'm not a huge fan of products and like the slimline kind of packaging. I just find them real messy. I get them so filthy and I don't find them as easy to control like with my lip shape. I think it's my lip shape. I can't get as a nicer line as I can with like a traditional lipstick shape where it's a little bit more pointy. Please thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you are new here don't forget to subscribe. I upload three videos a week most of the time otherwise usually two a week. Yeah. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!